So how can you change this to this and this into this or even this into this? Three ways in Final Cut Pro 10 to fix a washed out sky. Let's go to the video. It happens, you get your you get home and you upload your clips to the computer, you color grade them, and your sky is non-responsive, completely washed out. And you feel there's nothing you can do about it. Well there is. Here's three simple things that you can do to fix that washed out look. Okay, the first way is to is very, very simple, and what we're gonna do is we're just gonna simply add a color board to it. So we've dragged the color board into the clip and now you can see we've got two color boards. We're going to select the second one and this little icon here we're going to add a shape mask. This will help us to hopefully keep the existing sky. Now this little white dot will turn it from a circle into a rectangle. Of course we need a rectangle so we're going to fit the sky the rectangle to our sky um, make sure that we've got it all covered and that looks about right yeah maybe down a bit and we don't need so much feathering this little white line is for feathering and we're going to drag that up a little bit because we don't need to feather it too much because our horizon is very straight um, and this is very simple um, to do now we're going to try we're going to go to the color board and we're going to try and save the existing colors so we're going to go to color and we're going to add a little bit of green just going to add a little bit of green to the sky and then we're going to play with the blues a little bit and there you go we've got some nice blues coming in and we've got a, suddenly we've got a nice beautiful sky there so now we're going to play with the exposure just a tad and the saturation until we're happy. You can play with it um, until you're happy. I'm just doing it very quickly here for the sake of this tutorial. Um, once you've got it where you're happy, that's it. Consider the job done. So let's just go back to the inspector now. And if we turn off the shape mask, you can see before and after, before, after. And uh, we've saved the original sky. However, you might not always be able to do that. And so uh, the second method that we're going to do is we're going to add a shape mask to try and replace the sky. So we'll find masks and we'll go to shape mask and we're just going to dra drag the shape mask um, again, once again, because the horizon's very straight um, and uncomplicated, this should be easy to do. We're going to drag the replacement sky. I've got a beautiful blue sky there. And um, we're going to hopefully replace our washed out sky with this beautiful sky. Once again, we're going to convert to a rectangle. And we're going to put the shape into position in our clip there you go we're going to stretch that out so that it covers all the clip and a beautiful white cloud there in the bottom corner and unfortunately you can see it is very very blue that sky and it does not really yet match um, the clip so we're going to go again to our color board and we're going to just add a little bit of green again to the sky and um, we're going to reduce the blue in the sky this time because it was far too blue and we're going to again play with the exposure until we got the exposure as we want it it's actually not far off at the moment and then we're just going to add 
I'll just play with the saturation a little bit I'm just using the master to get the sky um, to kind of fit the clip and the get the effect that we want and that that's cool um, and again before after and we've replaced that washed out sky okay and the third and final way to um, to fix a washed out sky um, in this one <coughs> we um, have a problem because it's not such a flat landscape and so what I'm gonna have to do for this one is I'm gonna have to add a draw mask so I'm just gonna pop the draw mask over and you can see it says click to add control points I'm gonna zoom up to 200 so I can see what I can do what I'm doing and then I'm just gonna start popping in my uh, control points for my draw mask and we're just gonna go all the way along the horizon you don't really need to be very accurate with this because it's so far in the distance it really isn't gonna make much difference um, and we're gonna feather it out um, so that it blends in so it really doesn't need to be 100% accurate you can of course spend a lot of time much more time than I'm spending um, so that you can get it absolutely spot on um, so that it will blend even better but for the sake of time I'm just gonna be popping these in very roughly and all the way along the horizon and this what this is going to do is exactly the same as the shape mask did and it's actually just going to remove the sky for us which we're then going to replace with the same sky as we used in the last clip so not far to go now we're just gonna keep going popping in these control points until we reach the end just a few more and there you go now I'm gonna go to 50 percent and I'm just gonna complete the mask adding a few more control points and there you go the mask and we're gonna click invert mask and then drag our sky in our replacement sky in we'll sh shrink that down to match the size of the clip and there you have it you can see the brand new sky um, in the background however the blend isn't very good so we're gonna go back to our color board and we're just gonna play with the colors again and you can take your time over this I'm not taking a great deal of time over this but you can take much more time okay so when you've got it exactly as you want it then we all that remains to do we just need to go back to our mask and we're just gonna adjust the feather until we've got that exactly as we want that don't really need too much um, but I'm happy with that for the sake of this tutorial you can obviously spend a lot more time over this when you're doing it yourself so three very simple ways that you can fix a washed out sky provided that your horizon line is not too complicated if you thought this video was useful then please give us a big thumbs up also if you are here visiting for the first time and you're into drones or you're beginning to edit in Final Cut Pro 10 then please hit the subscribe button and click the bell so that you receive notifications when we upload future videos also please feel free to leave comments and questions in the comments section below and I'll get back to you as soon as I possibly can all that remains to be said now is have a great day 
and hopefully I'll see you all in the next video.